What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a look at Prop Hunt in Call of Duty World War 2. More specifically, at first, I'm going to be sharing all of my tips that I have for Prop Hunt after playing it for quite some time now. And then towards the end of the video, I really want to share my thoughts on this mode and how I feel it could be improved for the next time we see it in rotation. Because as it is right now, it looks like it's probably going to be phased out of rotation in exchange for Demolition or Domination XL, or maybe even both of those. But it will most likely be coming back in the near future, and I hope to see some improvements made. So first up, let's get into my tips. I'm going to start it off with tips for props. When you're a prop, how do you stay alive longer and hopefully make it to the end of the round? First up, we've got the jump and lock technique. When you're a prop, you can actually jump in the air and then hit the lock button, which is R2 on PS4, and your prop will just be there, hovering in the air. Of course, this is very situational, it depends on the type of prop you are, as well as the map and everything like that, but one particular area that this works really well on is Gustav Cannon. If you climb up the Gustav Cannon and you mantle over the edge, and then just like fall off the edge, you can lock your prop in mid-air, and this is often an area where people don't look. Of course, lots of people have started catching on to this, so you might get one of those guys in the lobby that's looking for this really actively, so you gotta be aware of that, but I find this is a very effective strategy. In addition to this, if you happen to be a really flat prop that often goes against a wall, if you jump up and then lock your prop against the wall, this is another thing where a lot of people just, they aren't looking up on the wall, they're looking for props on the ground, and a lot of times they'll pass you by. The next thing I want to talk about is decoys. You can place a decoy by pressing down on the D-pad for PS4, but generally I feel like placing decoys isn't the greatest idea unless you're planning on switching your prop, because it just lets enemies know if they end up coming across one of your decoys, it lets them know that it's likely that there's a prop that's that same thing in the general vicinity and they know what to look for. Instead, usually I will use decoys when I'm on the run, especially after I've used my flash or if I'm in a situation where I feel like I don't need to use my flash. If I drop decoys along the way as I go, most players seem to take the time to stop and shoot that decoy. I don't know if it's because they actually think it's a prop or if they just want those points because points can sometimes be hard to come by on the hunting side if you have really good teammates that are picking off all the props. And I find decoys are an excellent way to just escape a situation. Even if you're just dropping them in the middle of your path as you go, this can often buy you that time that you need to get out of that situation. Next up is something that I find to be very effective if you find a really good spot, and this is stand your ground as much as possible. Sometimes you get into those situations where it's really tense, you've got a guy, he's shooting all of the things that are right around you, they're in the same room as you, maybe even right next to you. If you feel like your spot is solid, stand your ground, because sometimes you just get lucky, and they just don't realize that you can be a prop rather than just a piece of the map. I would say the majority of the rounds that I've won as a prop, I have done this exact same strategy where I've been in those tense situations where enemies have looked right at me, maybe they've even walked right on top of me, but I, instead of just flashing and freaking out and running away, I stand my ground, and this will often work assuming your spot is good. Now of course, you should have your finger ready to go on that flash button the moment they get a hit marker on you, yes, flash and run, get out of there. But having said that, if you've got a good spot, stand your ground. The next strategy that I would say that works very effective if you get the right prop, and this is a very small prop, is just stay as that prop for as long as possible or even just stand your ground for the rest of the round as that prop, but constantly stay on the move. It's often extremely difficult for enemies to hit a small enemy prop, and therefore even if you're spotted, you can usually juke the enemies and just dodge all the bullets and oftentimes just lose them even without using a flash. One other little technique that I like to use when I'm a prop, this one's more so just for fun, but it's often really effective. If you've got a spot and an enemy seems to be closing in on your position, but they haven't quite discovered you yet, they haven't shot you yet, sometimes I like to just flash the enemy, but not move at all. This often confuses them so much, because 99% of the time, if you get flashed, that prop is on the move, they're running away to find a new spot. So most of the time, when I flash an enemy player and I just sit in the same spot, they just run away from me. They, they run away thinking that they're gonna be chasing a prop and it just completely confuses them. It's a lot of fun using this technique, although it does use your very valuable flash and eventually somebody's probably gonna come back and then you don't have a flash, but I just thought I'd share that little tip as well. And that's pretty much it for the tips I'm gonna share with being a prop. Next, we're gonna move on to being a hunter. 
And I will admit, being a hunter is a lot easier than being a prop in this game. And this is something we're going to talk about towards the end of the video, where I feel like some changes could be made here. So the first tip that I have as a hunter is, in its current state, you have unlimited ammo as a hunter, and therefore, spray everything. Even if you think it's just part of the map and there's no way that could even be a prop, just shoot it. You've got nothing to lose by shooting it. Shoot everything you possibly can. So many times you're just going to get lucky shooting something that you didn't even realize could be a prop or you didn't see a prop hiding behind it or near it or something like that and it'll get you the kills. I hate it when enemies do this to me, but the simple fact is it's effective in its current state. Building off of this though, of course, when it's in the whistling stage, shut up. Stop shooting your gun. There are too many people that are still spraying their gun when I'm trying to listen for a whistle, and that's really frustrating. So spray between whistles, but be quiet during the whistling stage. Another thing I found, especially if you just have speakers or just a stereo headset, if you're trying to pinpoint the exact location of an enemy prop just by sound when they're in the whistling stage, I find slowly turning your character, or at least turning your character a little bit as the actual whistle is happening, can help you pinpoint that location so much better than if you just stood still and tried to listen for the whistle. That's just something that I've noticed works for me with my particular sound setup. Maybe it works differently for you guys, but try it out at least and it might help you pinpoint the location a little bit easier. Another tip I have as a hunter, something that you can do, if you've got that like one or two pesky props that are still alive and you're having a really hard time finding them, you can actually determine what size of a prop they are by looking at the scoreboard. So every 10 seconds as a prop, you will get score for staying alive. And you'll also notice if you're a prop that you get bonus score for being a medium or a large prop. This means if you're watching the scoreboard as a hunter, every 10 seconds you'll see that prop score go up. If you do the math on how much that score went up, you'll be able to determine how big of a prop they currently are, and that will help you in your search for that final prop. Aside from that, as a hunter, it's pretty straightforward. Just learn the common spots, learn where props tend to be, and also be sure to always check your corners. Props really like to gravitate towards corners in this game, and therefore always be looking more towards corners than anywhere else. So that's pretty much it for the tips I wanted to give you guys here. I know pretty basic tips and everything like that for some people, especially those that have been playing Prop Hunt for some time. Next, I wanted to talk about my thoughts on the mode in general and how I feel it can improve. Like I said earlier, I feel like it's balanced a little bit too much in the direction of Hunters at the current stage. It's extremely difficult to stay alive for an entire round as a prop, and it's also very random as a prop. You never know what you're going to get as a prop. And this is my first suggestion for something that I would like to see changed in the future with Prop Hunt, is you can keep the rotation of the props random, but tell us what we're going to get next. Just give us a little indicator on the bottom right or something that says, this is your next prop. I think this would just give that little bit of a leg up to the props, so at least they can kind of prepare their strategy a little bit before, so if they know they're going to be a super large prop, then they have to be much more careful with what they're doing and everything. Or if they know that they can turn into a small prop, they know that they can use that on the run really effectively. I think that's just a very minor change that would give a slight advantage to the props over the hunters. Next is something that I kind of touched on a little bit earlier. I really wish that the hunters had limited ammo. In its current state, it's really frustrating when you find a great spot, but an enemy just comes into the vicinity and basically just spins in circles spraying until they get a hit marker, and then once they get that hit marker, they're able to locate you and find you, even though if they were actually searching for you and looking for you, they never would have seen you at all. If you had limited ammo for the hunters, and they could have a decent amount of ammo still, I think that would be totally fair, but if you had limited ammo for the hunters, I think that would be a much better way to handle it, and that way it would actually be more of like a hide and seek type mode, where the hunters have to actually look for props, rather than just spraying all over the place and hoping to get a hit marker. Something that could also be done with this is when you kill a prop as a hunter, they drop a scavenger pack so you can go over, you can pick that up, and replenish some ammo as a reward for killing a prop. I think that would be a much more strategic way to play prop hunt. It would really make those hunters think about the shots that they're firing and actively search for the props rather than just spraying. Personally, I feel like if they made those two little changes, it would make this mode so much more enjoyable for everyone involved and it wouldn't be such a daunting task to be a prop in this game. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. Of course, I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section below. First off, are there any tips that I didn't mention in this video that you'd like to share? And second, what do you think about the idea of potentially having limited ammo for the hunters, as well as seeing what your next prop is going to be when you're hiding as a prop? 
If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.